Welcome to the PrevDent professional training video. PrevDent CRWR is a paradigm shifting method for the cleaning, rewhitening, and repairing of teeth. This video will provide instructions on how to execute the procedure. CRWR materials. The PrevDent CRWR consists of two packages. Kit A is the treatment kit and contains the stain remover swabs re-whitening solution and repairing serum. This package should be stored in a refrigerator at 2 to 5 degrees Celsius. Remove kit A from the refrigerator at least 24 hours prior to performing the procedure. Only use the Prevdent re-whitening solution at room temperature. The second part is kit B, the procedure kit. The procedure kit contains the cheek retractor and all the materials that are needed for gingiva isolation. Preparing the patient. Prepare cheek retractor for usage. Adjust the size by bending retractor in the middle and the sides. Insert cheek retractor into patient's mouth with tongue guide tab pointing downwards. If this is uncomfortable for the patient, turn cheek retractor upside down. Match patient's tooth shade using the Vita shade guide and preferably the right light for consistent and accurate shade matching. Record the patient's tooth shade in chart. Take a before photo of patient's teeth. Place face bib over both sides of the cheek retractor. Dry gingiva with air blast. Attach the provided white tip to apply the Prevdent masking cream. Apply masking cream on the bottom lip. Place gauze over bottom lip on top of masking cream. Place a cotton roll on top of the gauze and press down gently to secure the gauze in place. Attach the large black tip onto a Prevdent barrier material syringe. Secure cotton roll by applying a small strip of the barrier material along the cotton roll. Harden the barrier material with a curing light by moving it slowly from left to right until barrier material is hard. Attach the metal precision tip on the other Prevdent barrier material syringe. Isolate the gingiva with the barrier material and ensure there is no pink exposed. Cure barrier material with curing light. Fold two pieces of gauze into triangles and insert into both cheeks with forceps. The gauze should be placed just behind the cotton roll. Place the other cotton roll under the top lip. Now use Prevdent barrier material syringe with the black plastic tip. Secure cotton roll by applying a small strip of the barrier material along the cotton roll. Cure barrier material with curing light. Now use the Prevdent barrier material syringe with the precision tip. Isolate the gingiva with the barrier material and ensure there is no pink exposed. If necessary, use a small brush to correct. Use dentist mirror to check all gingiva is covered. Cure barrier material with curing light. Apply masking cream to the upper lip. Place protection glasses on patient's head to ensure patient's eyes are protected during the procedure. Preparing the dispenser. The Prevdent re-widening solution arrives in an adjustable dual chamber dispenser. Chamber 1 contains the nano-hydroxyapatite solution and chamber 2 contains the hydrogen peroxide solution. Adjust the head of the bottle so that the blue arrow is positioned to the one marking and then pump until solution flows into a black disposable dish. 
Adjust the blue arrow to the two marking and pump until solution flows. Discard the used dish. Now reposition the blue arrow to the middle red 6% hydrogen peroxide arrow. The bottle is now activated and ready to be used. You only have to activate the dispenser once. Executing the CRWR procedure. Open a Prevdent stain remover swab by squeezing the top collar and bending the stick back and forth. You will hear a snap when it opens. Use a new swab for every two applications. An extra stain remover swab is provided for additional applications if necessary. Apply Prevdent stain remover swab generously to teeth, assuring teeth being treated are completely saturated with the solution. For each application of the re-whitening solution, pump the bottle seven to nine times in a corner of the black disposable dish. Using the provided brush, quickly stir and mix the two liquids in a corner of the dish for approximately five seconds until a thick, luxurious foam is created. Once the foam is created, use the brush to apply a thick layer of foam directly onto the teeth. Allow the foam to penetrate the teeth for 10 minutes. Ensure the foam does not drip towards the back of the mouth. Note, the Prevdent CRWR procedure does not require whitening lamp. However, to accelerate the procedure, we recommend lamps that deliver a temperature of 38 to 39 degrees Celsius. Lamps that deliver higher temperatures may be dangerous for the pulpa chamber. Without using a lamp, the CRWR treatment delivers good results after six cycles of 10 minutes. Using a lamp of the right temperature, the cycles can be shortened to eight minutes. Sometimes one or two additional cycles are needed. Extending the number of cycles will enhance the durability of the treatment results. When using a lamp, it should be placed directly in front of patient's mouth, approximately four centimeters from teeth. We recommend an LED-based lamp. Any plasma or UV lamps are not recommended for the Prevdent CRWR procedure. Suction off the foam with the provided suction tip after 10 minutes or 8 minutes using a lamp. Do not rinse. Repeat application of the stain remover swab and re-whitening solution for a minimum of 6 applications. Allow time for additional applications if necessary. Do not rinse in between cycles or before applying the repair serum. Extra applications depend on the patient's teeth. For more information, go to www.prevdent.com slash FAQCRWR. After completing all re-whitening solution applications, open the Prevdent repairing serum by squeezing the tab near the foam tip of the ampule. Liberally apply the repairing serum to teeth assuring the teeth are completely saturated. Leave solution on for three minutes and suction off, then rinse. Saturate the cotton rolls thoroughly with water to easily remove the barrier material. Remove all isolation materials from patient's mouth, but keep the cheek retractor in. Rinse the mouth with water. Determine and record after tooth color. Take an after photo of patient's teeth. Now remove the cheek retractor. Share results with patient. Also advise avoiding coffee, tea, red wine, smoking, etc. for at least 24 hours to prevent staining. Inform the patient about Prevdent aftercare products and hand them out. Prevdent toothpaste is recommended after the CRWR procedure to ensure teeth stay remineralized with nanohydroxyapatite to prevent new stains from forming. Prevdent products can be purchased at www.prevdentshop.com.